what is up guys welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be looking at photo fire which is a uh, one that shares new uh, picture editor so basically we're just going to look at this and uh so i'm going to be showing you what it looks like what it has and uh i'm going to be downloading it i'm going to be using the free trial just to see if i like it and uh the link is going to be in the description below just in case you guys want to check it out so basically once you get to the website this is what you're going to see so the program is called uh photo fire or photo fire i guess that's that's what it is but basically it has like um descriptions right here all right so this says that it's uh intuitive really easy to use it has uh, all the tools and uh, they're good for business use and personal use they have some things here that you can play with so this one i guess this one is going to be like the color correction as you can see you can um, move this to see uh the difference this is the before and this is the after uh so i guess um you can also remove uh better backgrounds i guess so if you go like this like that like that like that um but yeah so this is basically them showing you what the program does and uh for this one i guess you could remove objects let's say you had a picture with like um people you didn't want to show in the picture you can just like remove them using uh i guess this tool the photo eraser there you go and then if we scroll down um uh, there you go. I guess you can have uh, the extensions. Of course, you're gonna sell like uh, add-ons that you can use. This one is called the Photo Maximizer, and this is the Photo Focus. It tells you the features on the bottom. Here's uh, the editor, the cutter, the eraser, the maximizer, and the focus. So basically, we're just gonna download this as a free trial. So to download, just hit uh, Try It Free, and uh, it's gonna download um, into onto your desktop or wherever you wanna save it. So you're gonna get this once you download it. So I'm just gonna run this. All right, guys, there you go. So it's going to take us to this little page and uh, you can do a custom install if you want. But I'm just going to hit install because I want to make this really easy for me to do. Bam. There you go, guys. So as you can see, this is uh, the welcome page or the first page, whatever you want to call it. So this is what we have. So it looks like it's still loading. So we're just going to give it a minute just to uh, finish loading everything. There you go. Everything is loaded. All right, guys. So this is it right here. And uh, so we're just going to be going through like all three just to show you what they look like. So let's go to the photo editor first. Bam. Let's click on that. All right, guys. So the photo editor is open right now. And uh, this is going to be the first thing you're going to be able able to see so basically um as you can see you can open a picture by clicking open you can go to recent files so these are just samples that i can use to um if you just want to like practice i guess you can use these samples so i'm going to be using this uh flower right here there you go i'm just going to click on this and uh, see what opens and what i can do with it all right guys there we go as you can see this looks amazing this is uh this is everything i need but as you can see if we click here on the on the left side that's where we have uh, the menu we have all the options we need and as you can see here at the top we have the undo and redo save uh print and uh what is this this is probably like an export button or this is the share button if you want to share on facebook yeah so this is where the magic happens right here on the right side so as you can see on the first side i guess these are the effect and uh, basically it shows you the original on the top and um it shows you all the effects they have and they're categorized by the popular so this is the most popular so if you just click on it as you can see it just like changes my image right here and i can basically like go through all these and um see uh, what kind of effects they have on the image um if you look on the bottom here if we switch to this it's gonna show you the before and after right next to each right next to each other like that and then if you go right you can rotate and uh, this right here is for panning and zooming and you have the zoom tools and this is going to be the size if you want to like resize it or uh, play the actual size so you can basically like mess with this right here and you can see the before and after so let's go to the next uh, option so this is going to be the cropping and uh, basically you can click on the corners and drag and then basically you have some uh, some presets right here you can also create your own uh, crop settings if you have if you do something like that by clicking right here uh let's move on to the next uh, section i believe this is where you could do uh some color correction color balance adjustments uh vignette you can do everything here so basically this is and uh, so you can basically mess with this you know um hue and saturation there you go uh turn this into like something completely different uh the tone curve uh, just like photoshop and um 
and uh and uh lightroom they have this and uh yeah guys so this is amazing so let's go to a uh, creative blur and literally do anything with this I, I have no idea what i'm doing but um the vignette you can there you go you can edit on the sides there you go this looks really ugly but i'm gonna um uh this is where i'm gonna use the undo tool like that i'm undoing everything i did there you go bam looks really good now let's move on to the next section there we go so this is gonna be like i guess the framing section you can add frames to your picture there we go i'm gonna add a frame to this one bam there you go looks amazing um so this is cool and uh, let's move on to the next section which is gonna be the uh what is this um i guess it's like the lighting i guess um so light leak there we go so it has some it's kind of like some effects and uh, you can basically like mess with like the blending right here uh as you can see you can mess with blending here there we go bam bam there you go it looks amazing perfect and you also have the blend mode i've been waiting for this this is just like in photoshop and then uh the last section is going to be for text so basically you can add text to this bam there you go um you can basically like um right here so click and drag to create like a text box and then you can add whatever text you want to add and then you can customize it right here on the right side as you can see which is pretty self-explanatory so this is basically what i'm gonna go through and uh thank you so much guys for watching make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and i'm out peace